Bette Midler said goodbye to her ex-account shortly after the results of the 2024 presidential election. One of her last posts revealed the actress, 78, who is a staunch opponent of Donald Trump, joking about drinking a bottle of Drano if Trump won and a bottle of champagne if Kamala Harris took the White House. Late on Tuesday, November 5th, just before deleting her account, the Hocus Pocus star shared a quote by journalist H.L. Mencken. When a candidate for public office faces the voters he does not face men of sense, he faces a mob of men whose chief distinguishing mark is the fact that they are quite incapable of weighing ideas, or even of comprehending any save the most elemental, men whose whole thinking is done in terms of emotion, and whose dominant emotion is dread of what they cannot understand the post read. So confronted, the candidate must either bark with the pack or be lost. All the odds are on the man who is intrinsically the most devious and mediocre, the man who can most adeptly disperse the notion that his mind is a virtual vacuum. The presidency tends, year by year, to go to such men. As democracy is perfected, the office represents, more and more closely, the inner soul of the people. We move toward a lofty ideal. On some great and glorious day the plain folks of the land will reach their heart's desire at last, and the White House will be adorned by a downright moron, the Post concluded. Midler and Trump have a long history of making jabs at each other. In 2012, he said he couldn't mock her ugly face or body for fear of backlash and later called her an extremely unattractive woman. In 2022, after Trump announced his third bid for the White House, Midler accused him of giving the same speech that he gave in 2016. After a two-year pandemic and a million American lives lost, the rest of us have moved on. He is ossified. May he rot, she penned. Earlier this year, after Trump made a truth social post declaring he hated Taylor Swift, following her endorsement of Vice President Harris, Midler called the message dangerous and illegal. He is putting out a hit on her and we all know it, she alleged. He wants his minions to do his dirty work, and you know they will. If she is hurt, he will deny that he knows anything about it, as he always does, I don't know, I haven't heard. She should sue the diapers off him, and I hope she does.